Right guys, I'm doing a very quick video. Um, I've just had home shop delivery with Tesco's, very nice lady with orange and bright pink hair. <laughs> I was like looking, when you're a wig wearer, you sort of look at people's to see if their hair is their own or whether it's uh, coloured <laughs> and uh, or it's a wig, you know, very often. It's what you do, sort of looking round when you're in the queue. <laughs> and it's like someone with nice hair and you're like looking to see whether is it real or not. Um, but anyway, <laughs> anyway, she packed it all for me from the crate, which was helpful. I am so preferring doing this now, I think. Um, doing the home shop thing and having it deliver now, but... The minute I say this, now the weather's turned. Um, the autumn winter months, I tend to get home shop deliver, um, and I nip out in the car with my power chair for little things, or out in the power chair itself, my big one that I've got, um, for the odd thing. And I used to have somebody that come and help me out, and she was great, but then she decided to stop coming, so yeah i've had that with a couple of people and they just decided to stop coming so uh i feel very let down i've got my mum helps me from time to time it just depends what she's got on and you know whether she's got appointments or she's going with my dad for appointments um so if she's free she can help that's what she's told me um and then it's like we turn it into a bit of a not just helping me with shopping but also like we'll have a, nip, a look around somewhere and you know little things like that oh so that cat's in the window trying to get raindrops because it's absolutely peeing it down out there um yeah so anyway um I've started to get into a little bit of a routine of having um, home shop delivery and then it's like I've then got the free time to be able to um, do small things, small shops. Um, at the minute it's all trial and error and trying to find a routine is really, really difficult. Um, because at the moment I don't have, I have my cleaner that comes, but I also need somebody really towards the end of the week, like a home help person that can maybe do an hour or so, you know, or a couple of hours. Um, especially like when my son starts back at uni, because um, he was at college, and it's the end of the week type of thing is where I need the help um so yeah so anyway um i've been doing this now for about what four weeks um ordering on the online shopping and then nipping out um if i need to go aldi top up what i've got here um that kind of a thing so anyway or if I need to go Marxes, or I need to, you know, just pick up little things. Um, so anyway, I thought I'll show you exactly what I have got that came on the home shop today. Um, so I'm going to start off, I picked up, I'm going to turn my chair off, because I can guarantee I'm going to turn, nudge the joystick and go. <laughs> so anyway, right we'll begin um so this is a pouch of the microwave whole grain rice um i never noticed these before but it's only when um the lovely ian who is um butcher to vegan on his channel he does like a lot of showing what he's just bought on a tesco shop or whatever um often he does a tesco shop 
and it's like I find little ideas of things that I've not tried before and I'm like oh that sounds nice or I've not tried that before um so yeah on his last shopping vlog he um he showed these pouches I'm not a huge rice eater I will be completely honest I like just about half of this um I'm not a big rice eater at all um so anyway this is like perfect I usually get those basmati um rices from is it Viti? they're only in like little um squares and you've got like they're in snap portions so there's two there's one you know for a next time type of thing and they're not huge and they're perfect for me um but they work out a lot more than this this is like pence um is it about 30p something like that so i've got one just to see what it's like um and it's clearly marked vegan so and it's just cooked whole grain rice with a bit of rapeseed oil in there um like i say that'll be perfect for me just you know one to chuck in the cupboard i want to get a few bits and pieces once my kitchen has been done <laughs> when my kitchen is done you know i just want to get things looking a bit more organized in here um and once i've got a routine with where to put things in the kitchen and at the minute things are on my work surfaces um you know, all my tins are on these little, sh they've got, I've got like little shelf things. Um, in fact, I'll show you it rather quickly. So, yeah. So, it's things like the tins and the mugs and all that sort of stuff is all here. And then I've got um, cupboards that are really, really impractical. And, and I can't get to the back of them. So the plan is, once the kitchen has been adapted, I'm going to start um, having a rethink of, and I can see exactly, it's like starting from scratch, it's like moving house all over again. Can't wait for that. Um, so yeah, I picked up some of these. These are the Nescafe Gold Plant-Based Coconut Lattes. You get six in a thing. They are two pound thirty-five, I think, something like that. Two thirty-four. Um, I love them, and uh, they're perfect for me. I have got a jar of coffee, and I will be honest, I don't find it tastes the same. So, it's there, you know. Occasionally, I'll try and make myself a coffee and use um, my soya milk in there or another plant alternative but these are just handy to have and sometimes I can put them in a bag when I'm going like my mum's because um, they're not vegan um, or if I'm needing to go somewhere and I'm thinking are they gonna want me to have you know offer me a coffee or something and at least then I can just pull one out and go, there you go, add some water to that, you know, kind of thing. So that's that. Right, next thing. They said that this was out of stock, but they obviously uh, must have been able to get it in. Um, free from green pasta. This is just Tesco's own. A pound and nine, I think it is. Um, it is milk free, wheat free, gluten free. Um, gluten-free pesto made with basil tofu and cashew nuts I absolutely love it and it's just perfect for um, sauces um, you know when I'm doing a pasta dish with meatballs and stuff and I just add so many spoonfuls to the pasta and it's just nice um, so I do that um, sometimes if I'm doing a cheesy pie cheesy potato pie i'll add a couple of dollops of this on top of the um like my tomato slices around the outside um if i'm doing a toasted cheese sandwich with tomatoes in i'll use a little bit of this on the inside 
um you name it i can find a little use just to dress up you know an item um but i love it it's really really good um and as to do one as well um and theirs is really nice again about a pound for this so yeah it just makes a nice quick sauce this was on club card um i've not tried this before i'm not really one for buying sauces i sort of buy <laughs> the stir fry veg and i can buy bits and pieces and then i think oh i could just have a bit of sauce with that um or i get those little pouch like the dragon pouches uh blue dragon pouches um that are great but they don't make a lot of sauce um and i typed in like chinese vegan and um this came up from lee kum ki uh hong kong sweet and sour sauce um no msg added no flavor enhancer added product suitable for vegans um they've got a few of these i think it's something like one pound eighty um for one of these bottles so you've got water sugar dry glucose syrup pineapple juice from concentrate uh concentrated pineapple juice tomato paste uh cornstarch acetic acid salt colors paprika extract and carotene stabilizer and then soya beans and wheat are your allergens uh and the date is on this till 2025, so that's plenty. And then <laughs> fridge after you've opened it. But I've got like some nibbly things, some bits um, that I've got from Aldi when I went with my son. Um, uh, the no chicken balls and the duck, uh, no duck rolls um, from, from, they're from Marks and Spencer's. Um, and what else have I got? Oh, those gorgeous, um, crispy, no beef strip things, also from Aldi. Um, and I just thought, yeah, I'm going to get a few sauces in, start stocking up my cupboards a little bit with something a bit interesting. So that's something new to try. Got this at the minute for the cats, although I did get the Benevo arrived today. Um, it is a bit of a one for me. Um, my cats have got allergies um, and triggered by certain foods. And at the minute, I think that it's... I mean, this is wheat-free. Um, but I'm thinking it's something in that cat food that they're eating. Um, but it's really difficult because, yeah, I can't work it out. So... I've basically decided to um, transition them over onto Benevo, the cat, vegan cat food. Um, and I've got the tin of the food as well, of their range, to see if the cats will eat it. And they've put, I've put their regular food down. I mean, to be honest, cat food, you look at what's in the ingredients and there is just a load of rubbish in them. There's nothing nutritious in there at all, to be fair. And it's probably an ingredient in amongst that lot that they're allergic. Well, not all of them are allergic to. Some of them are totally not fine, you know. Um, but I just want to make some changes. I just want my cats to be um, looking better. You know, their fur to look amazing and all the rest of it. And the reviews that I've been reading up on the cat food for Benevo, biscuits and the tins, um, the reviews have been really, really good. So it is early days. It's only day one. It only arrived today. The dried cat food, I've only just started putting it down. They did eat some of it. Um, they left some of it, which is normal for them. Um, even when they were ha just having the ions. Um, so we'll see. And the plan is that I am going to transition them over, see how they get on with that. Um, 
then hopefully it will make the you know make them a lot better in themselves because a couple of them do get uncomfortable every now and again they'll have a flare up um and i'm just thinking something's got to happen but anyway getting back to the shopping sorry i'm getting a bit distracted um tomatoes these are going on my um my cheese potato pie um i picked up a cottage pie mix oh it is thank goodness for that um so i thought instead of oh, god an itchy nose sorry it's really annoying me um yeah last week i made a chili and you know it was gorgeous i did the beyond mints i did um use the beans in the kidney beans in chili sauce and then I added a tin of tomatoes and some chilli um, powder and a stock cube and I made a chilli and it was wow, amazing. It was enough there for two meals and it was fantastic. And I thought, Do you know what? I just fancy doing, having a go at doing just slightly different things so I'm not stuck in a rut eating the same thing week in, week out. So I've got one of these on the shop. Um, and it is clearly marked vegan on the back there and it's only when uh, obviously you add your meat if you were to add it that's when it becomes obviously not vegan um, so yeah it does contain wheat on this um, so if you've got an allergen to that then don't buy this barley's the other one but it's great to see it clearly marked i'd like to see it clearly marked on the front to be honest which would be nice um but yeah that's see i suffer with a lot of issues um triggered by certain food so i know how uncomfortable it is and unbearable it is when the pain really starts and i know that i've a couple of them my cats that are suffering when they are um struggling themselves so that's why i'm going on this benevo I want to say it says on the front there that it's good for health and digestive system and all this that and the other so I really want to give it a go and it's going to take a few weeks and it's just going to be persevering until one day they crack it I mean I did get some of the Tesco cat food today on the shop but my theory is I wanted something obviously that's regular because that's what you've got to do is when you're adding a new food you've got to wean them off one thing and on something else and they've already touched the cat food that they've got which is from there the one that they usually have so it's yeah anyway that's going to be another video you know i'll do like a little mini series maybe seeing how they go from one you know cat food to another um i have previously bought other things um you know other brands i've done whiskers i've done aldi's own aldi's own my cats used to be really really sick with it i mean really sick and the biscuits it was just horrendous i'd just constantly be cleaning up after them and this was with cats that have passed as well um so i'd never do that again but i'm just hoping that maybe it, somebody else is going to be out there that's going to be thinking oh do i put my cats on vegan food and i'd love to know how you go about it how you find it um how your cats take to it so we'll see but fingers crossed, um, I'm hoping this is going to be a really positive change. So, anyway, 
sorry i'm terrible for this i'll talk about one thing and then i'll jump onto something else and then i'll come back again um so yeah cottage pie mix so one of the days i'm going to defrost some um beyond mints and i'm going to make a cottage pie so that's the plan that was a pound My throat is really, really bad. It's really agitated. <sighs> Not had this for a while. Um, I picked these up um, because when I saw it, my mum was like, oh, I need a drink. And I don't have cow's milk, obviously. Um, and... My son doesn't drink it either. Doesn't like it. So, um, as a compromise, because I don't agree with, I don't like buying stuff with it in. Um, I bought them, a, my mum and dad, a pack of these. So, these are the three in one. Um, just so it's in the cupboard. And the date is good on these. So, she can't complain. <laughs> J2O's, these are two quid at the minute in Tesco's. I don't like the feel of these. They feel like they've got a month's worth of dust on or something, but they've not. It's just the packaging. It just feels horrible. These are £2. Clearly marked vegan on the front there. like it. Um, I've got to be careful where I put stuff because I've got my oven on. My tea is cooking. I've got Beyond Burgers for tea. I've defrosted these. I've got my me, uh, my baps from the brioche ones, my buns, uh, which are clearly not vegan now. Um, yeah, and then I've got a few chips and so that is the plan. Right, I've got these. These are Tesco's own panini rolls, clearly not vegan now. Watch when you go into places like Asda, Tesco's everywhere basically check the ingredients the bakery ones you will get them listed they have to they will list them on the back the ingredients um quite a few will have milk powder in them um and milk being in the heavy type of the allergen um these are suitable for vegans clearly marked vegan on the front there and on the back as well and you can clearly see what's in there from the ingredients your only allergen in there is your wheat um so yeah these are great i just love them and i do chuck them in the freezer and they freeze really really well um i'm gonna unpack back into the bag i think for these so i've got two of these one for the freezer yeah and one for that got a garlic bread this is their hearty food company this is great these are only like what 34p really really cheap and again you can freeze them and they're fantastic um and then there's this hello hello luna i picked up one of these on the shop i just thought it looked really really interesting i was the one thing about doing the home shop is you put vegan bread in and a load of things that are suitable for vegans in bread will come up. And I was scrolling through and this is the olive sear batter made with extra virgin olive oil for a light, soft texture, hand-shaped and baked for a delicious crisp crust. Suitable for freezing, clearly marked vegan. Um, it looks really, really nice. Are those, there might be bits of, I think there's olive bits in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why it's called an olive sea batter. Sometimes it's just the olive oil. It says our Tesco finest olive sea batter is made from a slowly fermented dough for a light airy texture, laced with black calamata and green olives and enriched with the extra virgin olive oil. 
Best enjoyed warm with a selection of Italian meats, olives, dried sun dried tomatoes with a balsamic vinegar and olive oil for dipping. And I thought, well, I could freeze this. I could slice it in half, like the instructions there, with a bit of physical. Um, yeah, I could cut this in half, put, slice it up for two separate days or whatever, or into threes even. And then I'm going to get some of my squeaky bean meats, um, the corn vegan meats, um, some of the Violife cheeses that are in the Greek feta style, um, olives and all that sort of things and do like a, a bit of a platter. This is so nice, warm. Ooh. Right, so that's that. Now then, next one. Oh, I've got such an itch. So the Beyond Burgers are 2 50 at the minute, the frozen ones, that is. So I've got a couple of them in. Um, can we freeze the stuff? I'm going to put back in here. So I can take it in one bit. Some of these ready peeled potatoes they're fabulous and they just be the um what's it called shepherd's pie idea but these are just great because i struggle with my hands with my arthritis um and gripping and everything and yeah so i'm gonna try that purple sprouting i love it absolutely gorgeous I've got such a dry mouth my throat is really really hurting I hope I'm not coming down this summer um, another garlic bread I think I'm going to freeze one of them um, yay the cookie dough um, cook, non dairy Ben and Jerry's cookies on cookie dough um yeah caramel non-dairy ice cream with a cookie swirl cookie dough and chocolatey chunks made with almonds so this is on and off at the minute 350 instead of five pound i think uh mushrooms big mushrooms the squirty cream which i love um, Beyond Sausages again, 2 50 at the minute instead of uh, £4, I think it is, that normally are. Yeah, £4 a pack. And the Beyond Burgers are 4 quid as well. I keep getting itchy. <laughs> so, yeah, I've got two of them. Make a really nice meal. Uh, the Beyond Mints, which is four quid. Um, another one of the Beyond Burgers. Whilst they're on the offer, I'll stock up. Um, what else have I got? I've got too much more now. Um, I've got so many carrots. Already peeled, chopped and everything. So that's good. I did get some hummus, or I did attempt to get some hummus, and I took it off the shopping. So, anyway, Future Tuna. That's got a really excellent date on it. It's got until 2024, August 2024. Um, and it is really nice. So, let's go in the fridge. Peach Owl Pros, I think they're like 170 at the minute instead of, is it 250, something like that. They're really nice. Oh dear. They're just nice on a bit of um, cereal or a bit of fruit or something. And then I've got these potato fries, sweet potato fries. These are three for two at the minute. So I've got them with the potatoes and my regular favourites the mediterranean style veggies which i do for a few meals now 
so there we have it. Right, I'm going to put all this away because my food is cooking nicely in the oven and I just want to just sit and have a, a drink and sort myself out. I've not slept properly for days, so I think I'm going to end up just... Oh, gosh, my nose is itching. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm just going to have a, a chill time. So I'm going to say thanks for watching and, um, you know, I'll catch you again. Thanks for watching and until next time, tatty bye, lovies.